You're listening to a brief excerpt from the Unconventional Paths to Reducing Patient Readmissions webinar, co-sponsored by DNV GL Healthcare. This webinar discusses insights from Cox Health, a six-hospital system in southwest Missouri, on their health system's journey to reducing patient readmissions. Well, thank you everyone for attending uh, this webinar. This is uh, really kind of exciting for you to hear uh, some of the uh, remarkable things that Cox Health has been able to do. Uh, uh, DMV, uh, have, for many of you that don't know us, uh, for some of you that are very new to uh, from uh, the options and accreditation, uh, DMVGL is uh, approved by CMS for uh, acute care and critical access hospitals uh, for under, approved under CMS. Um, namely, as we approach this uh, process, we have done so in, in a different way, but really our main, I guess, core components, if you will, uh, and the purpose of what drives us is to safeguard life, property, the environment. So everything we do really kind of leans to that side um, and how we can help organizations and applying this really into uh, a healthcare sector uh, as we've done uh, in so many ways with hospitals that we've grown in the U.S. Um, and we've also applied this globally uh, outside the U.S. And, and we're actually in multiple industry sectors uh, as this relates to DMVGL and how we are really kind of helping uh, organizations uh, create value of meeting obviously needs of uh, them as an organization, their customers, patients, um, and what we're trying to drive is really sustainable business performance um, through our certification, verification, accreditation, uh, assessment services, and, and how we approach this process. Um, as we do this from a kind of a risk-based kind of perspective, if you will, uh, in the multiple industry sectors, uh, we have really kind of pushed forward with how we introduce a, a concept um, into building some of the trust and confidence, obviously, with the community at large, uh, with our hospitals, and that you know, we've been able to introduce a new approach to the accreditation process that is more meaningful. Um, demonstrates and really in a more effective quality management system. And we look at our customers as partners um, and how we are able to kind of help them, uh, what we can glean from as we identify certain things that come up from the survey process, uh, but doing so with the accountability, obviously, to demonstrate compliance. But I think one of the most interesting things that we have been able to uh, do with our process is be enablers, uh, enablers to foster innovation, enable us to change the nature and culture of accreditation and how the hospitals approach this. And the, the manner in which we go about it is really kind of building on the success of the quality management system. Um, and so as we're working with our hospitals and really kind of trying to uh, develop some, some good approaches, uh, looking at it from the process perspective, uh, trying to generate the positive uh, outcomes that come with this, We've been able to apply this not only with accreditation, but what we've been able to do with uh, certification programs. Um, and I think what is most interesting is we kind of uh, segue into this with the Cox Health, is that they have truly embraced this approach. Um, this is an organization that really kind of used, uh, you know, kind of this approach uh, in many ways to look at themselves in a different way, uh, to really focus on streamlining and changing other processes. Uh, they've done so with staff engagement, engagement of other parties, um, letting data drive uh, what they were doing, drive their decision making, focus them on kind of where they need to be working most. Uh, and in that respect, I think they epitomize uh, a quality management system approach and kind of what they're doing. And uh, as, as we're really trying to, to do with this process, and uh, there's also a case study uh, in this regard for Cox Health that we will share as well. But I think one of the most interesting things that you'll hear is how they've gone about this process, what they've been able to glean from it, uh, as so many hospitals struggle with uh, how do they reduce readmissions. Um, this is very impactful uh, from a reimbursement standpoint um, and really kind of the overall patient care aspects. Um, but the, the folks at Cox Health have done uh, an amazing job uh, at approaching this process in, in a unique way uh, and how they brought others into this that uh, they will share um, but with that, uh, I'd like to introduce the folks with Cox Health, and uh, if you would, uh, just talk more about kind of how you went about this process. 
You've been listening to a brief excerpt from the Unconventional Paths to Reducing Patient Readmissions webinar presentation. This webinar was co-sponsored by DNVGL Healthcare and recorded on November 15, 2018. The full webinar included discussion from Patrick Horan, President and CEO, DNVGL Healthcare, and from Cox Health with Amanda Hedgepeth, Vice President Clinical Services, Jared Graves, Performance Improvement, and Carrie DeCiani, Systems Director, Performance Improvement. The full webinar also includes an extensive Q&A session with the audience. You'll want to be sure to watch the full one-hour webinar video. To do so, use the link to the full video, which also appears now on your screen.